Got some rib tips with some marinade of a uh, sweet soy sauce and honey, garlic, minced garlic, and a couple other things. Sesame seed oil. What are these mushrooms called? Comment down below if you know what these are. I says on the package, but I didn't look at the package. Little stringy white mushrooms. E N O K I. Hear that sizzle? What's up, Bruce React? We react, but um, yeah, this is gonna be our first video, our first cook with us slash muk, was it mukbang, mukbang? Slash, drink some pineapple with us. Pineapple, what is it, pineapple wine? Pineapple sangria. But yeah, um, this is our first one. We've been trying to do it for a while, but we just jumped into it. Um, so we started the hot pot early because it takes a while to get get going but um we have some this is a pork steak i don't know if it's the the butt or the shoulder but either way it's my it's my first time and probably her first time trying it and then i, I had it and then we have some spare rib i made a uh kind of like a barbecue sauce it's pretty much a barbecue sauce with sweet soy sauce honey uh, minced garlic Sesame seed oil, I mean sesame oil, a couple seasonings. We have some bean sprouts. We got some raw. We got some noodles. Um, Zucchini and onions and mushrooms. Let me see that package for onion. Yeah. No, the package. Right here. Right here. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce it. The inkoi mushroom. If you know how to pronounce it. Let us know in the comments. Uh, we got some Ian OKI mushrooms, fresh. They look like little white strings. I've seen them in a lot of mukbangs, so I grabbed some when I went to the international store. But yeah, and our the steak is just the pork steak is just is just um is just uh, got seasoning on it. We're not gonna I'm not gonna marinate or oh I've got some jalapenos. You want some? I didn't know if you wanted one. That's what I got too. But yeah, we got the raw noodles, so we can throw them in here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab some uh, ice. She's trying to come get this. She's trying to calm me. She ain't trying to calm me the whole time. Why are you trying to get this fucking thing? Why don't you just text me or something? Why
Try to have this one. Cheers. Sir Sriracha. Cheers. Yeah, go grab some Sriracha. Do you want some in yours? I'm going to put some on mine. Only a little. Because Sriracha is really spicy to me. Is it? So you said you're going to try those mushrooms again? Mm -hmm. That's the case. This, this is yours. Then. Did you already put them in both? No. Um, let me look. Let me look. Because... Yeah, put them in there before you put them in one. Because I want to see if I put them in. Yeah, you left these sprouts right there. Did I put them in there yet? Did you try this yet? My hair gets everywhere. Yeah. Does anybody else have that problem? No, I'm Your sure. Your hair just falls out a lot. You want to put some of the vegetables on? But yeah, we um, watched what uh, Timothy was the. the the ghetto, whatever his name is, from Wild Out. The like ghetto. His video, he um, I want to put him down first, but um, or he put it in there. Um, he had, he did a uh, line with like some like delivery service, uh, Korean barbecue grill. When I looked into it, they only do it in California, but so I searched Amazon for this, and this is the one I I just like it because it has the two in one, two grill with the hot pot, but. So yeah, I got this on Amazon for like a hundred dollars. So. It has two heating elements and three different cook areas. Yeah, I was gonna get the one with the, the flame, but but I I thought it was a little dangerous. The reviews were a little dangerous. Like I I didn't want to open the flame in the house. The meat over. So we got the electric one. Yeah, it smells good. We're doing the, well, I, guess, I guess when the vegetables look good more, we can pile them together more. But it, thing, it cooks, it gets hot really, really fast and it cooks pretty good. I've used it multiple times since I got it. I only had it for like a week and a half, maybe two weeks. But, yeah, we've been, like I said, we've been planning for this, but. I just went out and got the ingredients yesterday and today. And, uh, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it as well. That That's really good. Try it. You wanna try this? You wanna try this? What one's mine? This one. I didn't stir it up. Stir it up. I, was, I put a little bit of sriracha in See, if it's too hot, then let me know. It's hot, hot though, just so you know. Like hot. Yeah, I wouldn't get that much food. It's hot. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot, hot. Like, it almost burned my mouth, and I, I eat stuff hot, hot. I burn, my, I, burn, I burn the roof of my mouth all the time and don't care until it kills the blisters off. I'm gonna try this. Did you try it? Yeah. Was it good, good? Like, was it too much of sriracha? No. I, I put... It's perfect. I put mine, like, a perfect amount of sriracha in mine, too. Um, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, we've been together for three years. But we've known each other since high school. But it seems like it's been five days. It's flying by. Don't it? I like it's full by. Once you get old and you have kids, the time just yeah, we got we got four kids. Goes by so fast. Four kids. Uh, she has three. I have two. But we have we have one together. One together. And she has two. Up in her. Um, I have two before him. He has one before me. Then we have one together. So yeah. together we have four. But um, the other handful, but we love. We had, to, we had to dump them off to the grandma's house for a second to make this. It would be impossible. That's why it takes forever to get to this point. Cause we always got our... There's such a distraction. <laughs> They're just very, like, active and... Hyper. Spoiled. So, 
And uh, every time we do anything, they always want to be up our butt. Attention hogs. They would be in front of the camera right now, hogging all the attention. Yeah, because we have two 10-year-old uh, daughters, and they pretty much have YouTube. And even when, they, when they're not recording for YouTube, they're acting like they're recording for YouTube. So, yeah, they would be taking all the, all the shine, I guess. It smells really good. It smells so good. They need to invent smell vision Yeah, that's like, well, if they could invent that, they could do a lot of stuff, like time travel. That's something that, like, that's kind of hard to... That's the same thing as time travel. If you can take a spell from here and take it over there, that's that's crossing the borderline of time travel. It's, it's kind of hard to, you know what I mean? You want to put some breeze brush in there? Possible. How's that mean? See, this is a uh, natural nature. I was the one, I got everything together, and I was, I, I thought I was going to cook, but she's cooking. So that's how it is. She's a cooker. So most of our videos, she probably be cooking. Yeah. She, like, she had no plan into this. Like, I, <laughs> I planned he every... Prepped, he's my sous chef. No, what? He prepped it all. She didn't even know what I was cooking it. Sous chef. That's what a sous chef does. No, a sous chef. You didn't even yes. know what we're cooking. She didn't even know what we're cooking. Like, how is that a sous chef? Like, so she's just winging it right now. Like, she didn't even know what I was bringing. Come on, sous chef. So I was literally prepping you everything. You just told me what to do, so I did it. But I'm glad she's doing it because, like I said, this is her natural thing. She likes to cook, she take over the cooking. But. But yeah, you know, our, our youngest is, is legend. He's about to turn two next month on the 20th. I can't believe he's about to be two. Yeah. It seemed like he was just born. And Literally. Then, and then we have a son, Noah. He's eight, right? About to turn nine. He will be, no, he's yeah. seven, about to turn yeah, eight. I thought he was eight. No, I knew he was going to turn eight. In my head, I advanced so far. Um, Look at that caramelization. Then we have, like I said, we have two daughters that are 10, but her daughter is older, so she turns uh, 11 this year. My daughter was turned 10 in, in March. Don't keep, you want to cook the, I mean, well, once she's much, much, once she's fresh, much cooked, we can pile them up together so they can keep steaming, you know what I mean? And then you can get that steak on them. Yeah. You want a plate? I got this bowl. But that's what it's too pretty much. Should we throw these noodles in there? Come the noodles! <laughs> Who said that? I don't know. <laughs> Somebody, some YouTubers we watched said, they said noodles like that. You don't use one, oh. That's the problem, yeah. That's basically the thing. I usually won't get it. We got some crunchies. There we go. Um, this, this is pretty fun. Like, it's going pretty well. Um, yeah, with the, I bought this because you can do so much other things with it because it's got the pot with it. We're going to take it camping. Yeah, we, her family goes camping a lot, so. And a camper. We go glamping. Yeah, but we still enjoy it outside most of the time. We're like, yeah. we, we stay up all night. We almost died going down the river in a, a uh, canoe. Uh, the canoe got flipped over, sucked under a tree that had turned over yeah, but, across the... Creek, what do you call it? The river? It was a huge suction. The water was moving so well, fast. Pretty much what it was is they didn't take care of it. Or they, it could have fell any time, so they could have, they could take care of their um, forest. People's but, canoes were getting sucked under the tree branch. But it was a big tree that covered 80, like at least 85%. There was only a small pathway to go around it. But. And you didn't know because it was around this curve and you couldn't see it. And everybody was about to die and there was tons of people gathered like, hey, watch out. It was pretty, it was pretty bad. Um, yeah, <laughs> it, it was around the hook, but it also had, what do you call it, on the suction? Um, um, the flow. Like uh, the water flow was so strong yeah. that it sucked you under the tree branch. No, yeah, but it, what do they call that? They call it something because it brought us around the curve, so you couldn't control. If you didn't, if you knew it was there and you can control and get around it, but no, it, like you're coming around this hook so fast, and there's a 
this tree was huge and had red, po like pokey branches poking out. And how fast you hit it, you could have got impaled. It was dangerous, but it was very dangerous. Yeah, we got when we when we hit. There was already an Asian lady there. I lost my favorite pair of shorts. Or the, the Asian lady didn't matter, right? There was an Asian lady that was there by herself. She her, matched. But she was by herself, and her husband or her boyfriend, like, I don't know, he didn't she leave She had two her. people with her, two guys, no, and that was, they just kept on going. They're like, bye, hopefully you're okay. It was one guy. And her, on her. No, they were, I thought he was with somebody else. They, they, they said her husband or boyfriend. She said her pretty much, got, I don't know if he got sucked away and he couldn't come back. It was a current. That's what it was a current. He made it around it. She got sucked he, into it. And he just kept on going. He didn't make it around it. Yeah, he did. Oh, he he could have went under, though. No, he went around it. Dang, he went His around. canoe was completely dry. He just kept on going. He was in a kayak. They were in separate kayaks. I don't have to know all this because we didn't see him. I watched. I saw him. You, you were so far behind me that I watched... Tons of people crash into it, and we were waiting on the edge. Why is this the first time I'm hearing for this? his canoe to be like, "Hey, come this way," so that he didn't get sucked under, and Isn't they that still far got behind? sucked under because they couldn't turn it fast enough. Isn't that far behind? Y'all were like ten minutes behind. Ten minutes? Yeah. You're a crook. She's doing too much because that's nowhere near. No, ten minutes. we missed a little while. We never were that far apart to let be ten minutes behind. Y'all were behind. You know how ten minutes is? We went over to the edge because we were able to go around it because we noticed and we were able. And then Ten. Tyler went under it and Tyler helped the Asian girl. And then yeah. here y'all come. No. We're like, this way, no. this way. No, we helped the Asian girl. I was there. It happened. It was back to back. Yeah, you got sucked into it. And then you ended up helping her too. No, but the thing is that Tyler was on mine. The thing about it, you were on mine, but you swapped out because you had to smoke. We were, you weren't that far behind me. I mean, we weren't that far behind. We were really right there. You only swapped over right before that because you guys wanted to smoke. That was the only reason why you weren't on mine. And that's the reason why we fucking got fucked up because I had two young kids on mine that couldn't control it. I put all the kids on his boat and was like, I'm going to smoke real quick over here with the adults. So, yeah, and I don't smoke, but that's what happened. We were not timid. At, at a point we were because something happened, or, but not at that point. It was like happening so fast and it was right there. But, yeah. It was, it was pretty bad. It was a bad day. <laughs> it was scary. It was pretty, yeah. Because like I said, you couldn't get impaled by anything. We, luckily, nobody did. But And like I said, it's sucking you under a big tree. Yeah. And then, and then what else? Uh, yeah, we had to climb on a tree. Like I said, it's a current. So you, if you're trying to come back to help people, you got to know how to swim. I mean, you have her to swim sister. against the current. And her sister and some cops. Some I was just waiting cops. on the edge. Like, hey, hope y'all are okay. I'm over here with, with the boat when you're ready. Yeah, her sister's a really good swimmer, so she swam against it and got it. And then there was an off-duty cop that helped everybody. Luckily, the kids, the young kids, were with my parents at the campsite. And only, like, older kids went with us because it was, yeah, it was the bad. water was so fast. The current was going so fast. It was, it was one day. of the most dangerous canoeing trips I've ever been on. Yep. Yeah, it was definitely the most dangerous one. But, yeah, like I said, I, there was a bag on. We, like I said, she lost her her shorts. Everybody lost something. Everybody's canoe tipped over at least once, and we lost personal items every time. But, um, yeah, I've never tipped over a, a canoe before. I went, The first time I ever went was Cabruin, and I, nowhere near was in the water. I wasn't drinking beer most of the time. And then, um, uh, but yeah, that was the worst time. So, a little malfunction, but we're about to put the port. Oh, I got my whole head in it. It does look better now. It looks better. But, um, yeah, we're going to put this pork steak on. I don't do any more. <laughs> it's been seasoning, like, all day. He prepped all this stuff earlier. This stuff it smells good. I wish you could smell it. But I'm sure a lot of you probably already make stuff like this, but. Um. That one there. Turn it up a little bit. Yeah, when I first used this, I didn't even go up on the number because it was cooking. It was so hot. Yeah. Yeah, baby, I'm babysitting this drink. I'm so used to having kids, so I'm used to babysitting. I love pineapple juice. Um, should we? You think this, the ribs are good? Like my pineapple mason jar? Yeah, she just bought them yesterday at Aldi. I don't, I don't know where you guys are watching this, but I don't know if you have Aldi. 
all these stand. <laughs> she confessed her love yesterday for it. I was like pineapple juice and a pineapple mason jar with some pineapple um, wine. Delicious. It is really good. But yeah, their aisle, their, what do you call, what do you call it, like a stationary aisle? They have like a random everything from like gardening to grilling to home goods to baby wipes and deodorant, like, <laughs> <laughs> like anything. cookware. It's like treasure. <laughs> it's like Audi finds, that's what they called it. But yeah, with these, was that marked down? It should have been marked down. It didn't have, it was missing the straws. It wasn't marked down, but it should have been marked down. It was missing the straws. It was missing the straws, but then I just got like some, some regular yeah. colored straws to match. That's, that's pretty much what it came with, probably came with anyway. And all the glasses are like ombre, different colors. This is the purple one, and he has the teal one. I guess you can barely see it with the yellow, with the juice in it. Yeah. But yeah, she likes uh, Audi. Well, um, I used to shop at Audi before we got together, but then you got me. It's like here. a. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Cheaper Trader Joe's. I've never been to Trader Joe's, though. I thought it was. Trader Joe's sounds like a, like a tractor supply. No? <laughs> Always thought it was tractor supply. Yeah. They have like more organic, more fresher foods. You want a plate? Or you want yeah. the bowl of fun? What do you need? What sort of rib? No. We need like Lindsay's and Debbie's like. The noodles. This pork is sizzling. I'm gonna turn it over in a second. Just give it a little more time to get like some caramelization on it. I haven't touched it. The trick to getting that brown color on your meat is to set it in the hot skillet and don't touch it. Our cute little tongs. Look at this jalapeno pepper. Say something, but I don't know any butter. <laughs> I was gonna say, but butter never, butter never hurts or something. I don't know. Fun fact: I'm a server, and every time I drop a butter knife, I'm like, those slippery butter knives. <laughs> you say it. You say it just like that. <laughs> just like that. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Those slippery butter. Knives. Yeah, she works at a, a, a breakfast spot. The old people love it. First watch. First watch. I know before her, broke out with her. I, I thought it was a gym. It's I, kind of a weird name for a breakfast spot. I didn't. I just never thought. I never. I never been. It there. originated in Florida. Oh, that makes sense. It seems like a Florida stuff thing. We have a lot of like Key West, um, border Tex-Mex breakfast inspired food oh it, it's very like healthy food and it's very it's like it's a nice it's a nice scene in it it's very like how would you explain it like the scene in like farmhouse fresh <laughs> yeah with a bohemian edge yeah <laughs> but um our noodles look perfect it was a recipe. It's a tic oh. it's a TikTok video. It was a recipe. It's like a creamy spaghetti. Uh, 
think it's made a big spoon. You want some broth? I'll give it up. I guess it. I should have put it in the bowl. Huh? Duh. That's what our bowl is for. It's for the soup. <laughs> yeah, I, I got bowls and then like I'm like, but what, what about the ribbons are like, like It smells so good. Yeah, it smells more? Yeah. <sighs> the bowl's kind of deep. You probably couldn't see that. Just... I cannot eat with chopsticks. I'm trying so hard to pick these noodles up right now. Yeah, you want to fork with that? Like, the meat. Like, oh, I'll... I got a bite, y'all. It's probably, we, we, we ain't, we're amateurs, but. I, I bought a, a set of stainless steel ones, and I'm not a professional, so they're slippery. So I ended up buying these today. Mm. I think this pork is almost done. Ooh, oh, look at that char. Ooh, yeah, yeah one, a little bit of char on that side, I should be good. And then you can use them. What's it called for one? All these time? short ribs look good. They smell good, is that? Like I said, it pretty much has, it, I'm sure like all these sa all the sauces you use you buy at the store, pretty much all the same things, same ingredient, but it tastes like uh like barbecue sauce with the sweet soy sauce and all that honey. Yeah, I'm a lot better with these. The 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 stainless steel ones, no, and they're. And they're standing still, so it's slippery. I guess I, I, I thought it was good. I guess Maybe good. better for skewers. <laughs> These? No, the stainless steel ones. Oh, the skewer. Those things would be hot. <laughs> Our vegetables shrank down to so that's why, small. I'm going to put some in my soup. That's, that's why I did it. I was like, I put some in it already, but I was like, I want sauteed. Who don't like sauteed vegetables? Sauteed zucchini and onion and peppers. Oh! We had bell peppers. We should have put those in here. I I was going to to be our, like because that's what we do. Like that's what we like. But I want I want to kind of be more authentic with it. But I was gonna ask you. I forgot. I was I was going to cut them though. So I guess we yeah. like vegetables. Yeah. I, yeah. I grew up having to eat my vegetables, and I <laughs> adapted to actually liking all the vegetables. I think the only what's the only vegetable. I've eaten radishes. I like. I wouldn't cook them myself, but I've eaten them. So I've eaten every vegetable, and I'm not a picky. I guess. I always say, um, I eat anything, but like chitlins. I wish I have eaten, eaten chitlins with a lot of hot sauce, but and pig's feet or stuff like that. But at least he knew what he was eating. My dad tricked me into eating dog food. Hold on, so... <laughs> oh, you didn't know? How old are you? Like nine or ten. Hold on. He had dog treats that looked like beef jerky, and he was pretending to eat one. He was like, oh, this beef jerky's good. I was like... Oh, so like a dog treat. I want one. Like a treat, not like the actual food in a can. And he went into the kitchen, and he came out, and he gave me one, and I ate the whole thing. And then he goes, that was a dog treat. Yeah, speaking of that, my dad... Recent, <laughs> the last, over the last couple of years, told me he fed me raccoon. That's just so unhappy. Oh, yeah. But yeah, I, I don't know how true that is. I don't know if he actually fed me raccoon. <laughs> but, but Dad, yeah. he probably did. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't, but he didn't tell me until I, like, the last couple, we used to work together. And uh, he told me that he fed me raccoon, but if I ate it, I guess that's, mm -hmm. I probably fed you squirrel too. He didn't say that though. Mm -hmm. This is really good. It is really good, especially with the sauteed veggies in it. This is my first time making a hot pot and I just freestyled it. I bought this um soup. It was a um a a shrimp. Base. It it was different than what I expected, so I didn't put all of it in it. It looked weird. It looked weird? Yeah, I didn't put all I put a little bit in it because it was like a shrimp base. 
I thought it was powder because some of them were powder and it wasn't. So I pretty much put uh, bouillon uh, seasoning as the broth and then put a little bit in there and then put other, like the vegetables and That's why it tastes it. so good. But yeah. I'm about to try this short rib. It's like nice and caramelized. Yeah, we've been talking this whole time, but we ain't ate nothing. The soup? We haven't really tried the meat though. Well, I mean, like most people would already start eating. Like, Freak like this here and there. Off of I that. wanted to make sure it that was meat like was good. I mean, done. Browned on all the sides. I know it's like it's hot, man. Mmm, it's so hot. That that um, that sauce I made. Mmm. Really what? Mm. It's so good. Yeah, for the first time, we only get better and better. But yeah, it's so hot. If you guys have any other ideas of uh, mukbangs or bangs that you want us to do, let us know in the comments. Um, yeah, we plan on doing a lot more different things. I want to do a hibachi. I'll hopefully, it'll work out on this. Like I said, I got this. You can make rice. But we got a lot of different things. We can do anything with a grill and a pot. But that was crystal. Mm -hmm. I like crystal, though. You like crystal? Auntie. Sometimes the fat, if it has a nice char on it, can be good. Like I said, I can't. I was I was poor as a kid, so I <laughs> reduced to eating everything. So I ate I ate the gristle, the fat, mm -hmm. I ate everything. But it's really good. That caramelization. Oh my goodness. The charred part mm -hmm. is like kind of chewy because mm -hmm. it. Literally, like caramelize the outside. For like I said, I ain't Korean. She ain't Korean. For the first time, I know we ain't got like all the. I know they usually wrap some of the stuff in lettuce or certain things, but we don't do it right away. We don't. I have lettuce. I'm gonna. I mm -hmm. see. I just see that. Can you bring some uh, paper towels? Let me go. Um, let me. Babe, are we out of napkins? No, look at above you. Oh, I see them. I can grab it. Let me grab it. I got them. This is my first time using shears on meat. Smells good. Like I said, this is the first time I'm trying. Uh, when I looked up Korean barbecue, this was one of the meats they used. So. And it was already cut. This lettuce is nice and green. It smells good. It's crispy. I seen that. I was like, did you get that for that or you already had it? I just got it yesterday. Oh, so it was perfect. But yeah, um, she, she says she works at uh, First Watch. I work in my basement, make uh, custom shirts and different things so I can stay with the kids when they're not in school and the baby. So it works out. He's a full-time daddy and he makes the best custom pieces. If you need any custom work done, he's your guy. So Shoes, shirts uniforms anything mm. paintings he's an artist starving artist but <laughs> sorry um i'm gonna do it yeah, yeah we're gonna, i guess we're gonna do it authentic style it's like scary. i'm not doing like they do they put the whole ball in their mouth i can't do that these are big lettuces <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say some of the balls they put in their mouth, <laughs> like it be damn good. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's good. Wow, better than jalapeno. Mm.
Mm-hmm. This is really good. Mm-hmm. I wasn't sure. The juice is dripping down my hand. <laughs> I wasn't sure if doing going in this, like how this, this is really good. Like it's better than some restaurants I've been to. Went to the Asian store winging it, like sure. Whatever yeah. this is, looks good. <laughs> I mean, international market, sorry. Yeah, I had a, a friend tell me some things, and then I, anything I do, I teach myself, so I like Google it and watch videos on recipes. And so it was winging it because everything I learned doesn't mean that the place I went to had the ingredients. So I just went based off the knowledge I learned from what I've seen. And it, this lettuce wrap is good too. I love romaine lettuce is so good. This might be the like best ramen experience I've ever had. And it was so, it was our own. It wasn't this in the packet. Yeah. No pre packet flavoring. Which I originally bought some noodles, the like, ones I like, but they're really hot and she can't really eat that hot. I like too spicy. So I was like so I went back today and got raw one so I can just throw it here. Mm. Yeah, we've been to the international. Was your jalapeno spicy? Um, I think it got blanched. I mean, I think it got cooked out. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It's just, if you get the seeds, if you get a lot of seeds. That's what the spiciness is from, anyway. Mm, like so you should have, should have cut them. Dip it in my soup. Mm. Okay. I'm not just saying it's really good because we made it, but so I recommend if you guys want to get into it, grab you something like this. And like I said, I, the sauce I made for the ribs it was just uh, sweet soy sauce with. Honey, minced garlic, some uh, sesame oil. And I think I put like a couple seasonings in there. I think that's all. You like it? Well, she said she liked it. Though. It's really good. I'm not good at eating with chopsticks though. But I'm managing. These ones are easy. Like, did you try the same stuff? Mm mm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they're for like professionals. Somebody has been doing it their whole life. Everything's good. I just wish we would have cooked more onions and zucchini because it shrunk down so we, much. We had a lot more onions and zucchini. But it was a lot at the time, like on the grill. I mean mm -hmm. we could I could cut some up right now, but like once it shrinks down, there's room for more, but at first it seems like a lot. I was thinking about it, it was only gonna be me and her. She eats, but at the same time she doesn't eat. Like, you don't know. So, I didn't want to, like, look at all this meat. Yeah. And, like, I mean, I like, we, we still, it isn't that much. What it is. All of it cooked down. All of it cooked down. There's a lot of bone on these ribs. Like, I wasn't going to cook all of them. I didn't, I only cooked one of the pork steaks. But, I didn't want to do too much. But, next time, we know. Also, lots of slurping in this video. I heard, <laughs> I heard it was a, a compliment to the chef. That's what I've heard. I don't know. In this case, yes. Yeah, I heard. Like, I guess it makes sense. Mm -hmm. I guess it, they want it to be so good that you're not even thinking about not slipping. This roasted jalapeno dipped in the soup broth. <sighs> Heaven. But yeah, this um, this pretty much was um. Boyan, chicken boyan. It was a, it was a, a, a shrimp soup base, and it was like a little bag of like, I don't know. <laughs> so I was like, I'm not, I'm not gonna waste it all. So I put a little bit of each, and I was like, and then you just freestyle it there. You put more wherever you put in. I put the vegetables, which I put raw ones, and then we sauteed some, put some in. She put a couple of the 
chips in there that were just pretty much bone. And then I put a little bit of sriracha in mine. Um, wherever those mushrooms were, some bean sprouts. So that's pretty much what our soup is. This is really good. Like, if you like spicy, the sriracha, it, it's, what did the kids say? It's busting. Mm -hmm. It's hit. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it slaps. Mm -hmm. Sheesh. So, you know, I don't mind slang and all that, but these kids overdo it. They <laughs> say it every second. Like, I, I grew up in the hood, so slang is normal. My 10 year old daughter's like, bruh. I'm like, I'm not your bruh, I'm your mom. <laughs> yeah, the TikTok's taking over the world. Mm -hmm. Technology. They said we get work. All right, yeah, I want you guys to guess our ages in the comments. How old do you think I am? And how do you think she is? I be mean, nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. If I was that old, then shit, tell me those. Tell, <laughs> tell me how it is. I want to know. I don't know if I really do. Be nice to her. <laughs> the thing about it is that she looks she looks younger than her age. But you just never know who's commenting. If it's a kid, you know, they be over exaggerating. You look so hungry. I hate, I hate when kids say Odin days. My God. I had one truly, and I had like really long hair. It was almost down to my butt, and I was nervous, and I was about to chop it off to my chin. And I chopped off my hair, and I filmed a TikTok video, and somebody commented, Oh my God, are you so drunk? Like some little girl. But you didn't have a truly in the video. Did no. You? So she was just. I was just nervous. I wasn't drunk. I'd only had one drink. So you gotta be drunk to cut your hair? I was like, I wanted to be like, even if I was drunk. Is it a kid? I'm old enough to be. Is it a kid? Mm hmm. So this is coming from the kids that were eating Tide Pods, <laughs> looking toilet seats. Come on, are you drunk? Did you cut her hair? Yeah, that's why I didn't even respond. I was just like, that's I'm going to ignore that. We have so many onions. We can make grilled <laughs> onions every day. <laughs> we have, well, we had a whole... This was only half a... Like three bags. This was only <laughs> half a, um, a, a zucchini. We had a whole one in there. I just didn't want to overdo it. It was a lot. It was like when it's that, oh, I knew it was. I should have thought about okay. shrinking. The sticky barbecue sauce, like with the grilled onions. Oh yeah, and then this. It's so good. You know the the grill mats. Just normally just be the the um, what do you call it the nonstick. It's a nonstick, but I put a mat on top of it. But I had to cut it. Get it in there so. It'd be easier to, so I ain't got fucking What's your mat called? I don't know. I mean, we just bought it yesterday. I, I've had one. I bought one before, but. We forget what it's called. I mean, I didn't know. I never know. I it's forget. cool. It's like a piece of fabric. It's like a fabric mat, and you put it on your, um. Yeah. Is, is it fabric? I thought it was awesome. But it could be. It's, it's like, like a, a polyester kind of material. Oh, well, polyester burns. Mmm. It's magic. Dang, we ripped off the thing. <laughs> It's a mat, but yeah, this is how this is what it was. So I cut it. Uh, Works with gas, charcoal, electric, less mess. Because I've seen in the video Tim Timothy did it. He had this paper, and I'm like, I was trying to look for that, I couldn't find it. But this is actually easier. It's reusable. You can clean All it. it says is grill and bake mat. See, I don't know what it's made out of. But it, it does don't, not say. It doesn't burn. I'll be like, we ain't eating plastic. So I did that just so it won't be messing up our nonstick. But it, it, you just pull the mat off and wash it. Yeah, I cut it. Like, I cut it the, the length. Or the, uh, yeah. And then I traced this inside here. Cut that. And when I did this part, I just used a lid. They sell grills like this with pieces that come like that for way more expensive. But we found these. What do you mean? Like, what? Like, to come, come apart? 
yeah, grills that come with like this that fits the grill. Oh, we yeah. found these and made our own. It was way cheaper. Yeah, I'm just saying like you ain't paying extra just for a mat. Mm -mm. But um But yeah, I was um I cut it, I measured it, cut it, and then pretty much put that in and traced it, cut that part off. But this part, I used the lid, I measured it from here to here, and then put the lid from there, and I cut it, and it came out perfectly. So I'm like, that? That is perfect. Yeah. It came it's out really so good. smart. I mean, you have to go, it's experience. Like, you have to go through experiences to know how to measure stuff like that. Because <laughs> most people wouldn't, like, oh, the lid, they would try to, like, freestyle it. Mm -hmm. Then when it came out. But I was like, oh, it comes with a lid. I use the lid for because it's gonna be the same for uh, what? Because that is the measurement. Yeah, the but lid. then but most people just put it randomly on the thing. Mm -hmm. You gotta measure from the top to this part, and then measure out and put the tip of this on there, and that should give you the correct. You gotta make sure it's centered, but yeah, it came out pretty good. First time it came. Yeah, this thing came. We got this from Audis, and it came in with two, so we can cut another one. But now it's easy. We can just trace it. Mm. <laughs> but way less mess they work <laughs> in your oven on your grill on your griddle yeah i got a free one one time from wish <laughs> and we used it on our outside grill and it worked pretty good we used it for veggies we charred some asparagus it was so yeah good. we love aspar asparagus and uh brussels sprouts i know a lot of people don't like brussels sprouts but she makes really good brussels sprouts with bacon and stuff I cook them in a cast iron skillet and get them really crispy with bacon grease. Love it. Yeah, people are like just talking about steamed Brussels sprouts. If you eat steamed Brussels sprouts, if you don't season your food, it's going to taste bad. The first time I ever, ever ate Brussels sprouts, they were steamed. And the way the juice exploded in my mouth, I was like, Brussels sprouts are not going to eat those again. Until I learned how to and cook them right. <laughs> oh, what the? What? It said something. It's still, it's still, it's still recorded. It is, but yeah, um, anything will taste bad if you don't cook it right. You know what I mean? That's why most people don't eat certain things because they go off basically the first time they had it as a kid. So I always say try something once as an adult. That, don't base it off as a kid. So I might, I might try some um, chitlins again. My dad makes them so. I don't have? want no chitlins. I don't want no liver. I don't want no duck eggs. Mm -mm. You know you love liver. No. She used to always eat liver at Ponderosa. Yeah, right. Mm. How long you want to go? So we're done? You're almost done, I'm not. I mean, I ain't eating my soup. <laughs> but, I mean, we still got meat, so. We're not gonna eat all of it, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I got these um, chopsticks, because those stainless steel ones, no. Did you turn this back on? No. I got leaned in so close to that I could hear it sizzling. <laughs> yeah, this thing is really good. Like, there's you can find this on sale a lot, different brands, but I always watch, I read the reviews of everything I order. And this one had the best reviews and the best, like, the, like, I don't say the best price, but like, close to the best price. It was like a hundred, it was a hundred dollars. But, if you want to go cheaper, like I said, this is regular reviews and always uh, attach your judgment based off the re reviews. Like, even if it's, I always, like, I read all the bad reviews. So, and I, but a lot of the bad reviews are stupid. So, but yeah. Like, I didn't read that it wasn't compatible with the <laughs> thing that I used, wanted to buy it for. It wasn't or, even compatible with it. <laughs> that too, but I hate when people put in the review of the, like, I, I, Amazon, I understand. Because Amazon does most of their deliveries. But I hate when like people put delivery bad reviews because the delivery service did it. But the delivery service is two different things. 
So yeah, just read your reviews on anything you get. Uh, you can find him on Etsy. I will, yeah. Uh, my uh, my company is Six Fourteen Customs on Etsy. I have, I have some uh, products on there, shirts, and still still building it up. I need to do a lot more stuff. Black Lives Matter shirts. They're really the most selling thing so far on Etsy. It was a top seller. I haven't. The thing is, I haven't updated my image based off of all these other people. It's dying. been busy because we moved. And I do everything by myself, so it's hard doing everything by yourself and doing orders. I have a really bad back, and we have. I'm not saying an that. An almost two year old, so only one of us can do something at a time. And I can't expect her. I'm not expecting her to help me. I'm just saying I do everything by myself, so it's harder to. The jalapeno just got me. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's done. I mean. Like with dipping to this, I didn't taste it. I must have got a seed. Oh yeah, well, that second bite I took was really seedy. No, I was a water in. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, you want some of this? Um, I'm gonna gonna go make my. My drink ain't good enough, bro. Huh? I don't want to take your drink. I can go get my own. I missed. Mm -hmm. I don't miss much, though. <laughs> if this is your first time watching the channel, give us a subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Like I said, she has a channel. She does astrology. But we're probably, probably, probably going to just switch this one, maybe. I don't know. Or make a new channel. I don't know. To make like a, a family channel. I think that's like gristle. I would eat it, but I ain't eat it on camera, I guess. Being bougie. Just like I'm this. a cancer. Got a body. Mm. Like a dancer. Yeah, she definitely does. Yeah. Um, you know, this piece right here is like gristle. I, mean, I would eat it, but not on camera. These short ribs are kind of mostly fat. And mostly bone. Bone and fat. They taste really delicious. Oh, they're though. good though, but I was going to say it was just mostly meat. The flavor's there. Ooh, that jalapeno. <laughs> I'm sweating. I probably got a bigger piece and cut it myself, but these were already pre-cut and it was like cheap. It was like five dollars for this pack. And then the steak, the steak was like three something. Mm -hmm. And it came with two. I only cooked one. Good prices. I'm gonna start shopping at the international store more, mm -hmm. especially for fresh vegetables. And oh, for sure. Garlic, onions. Any pretty much anything, you know. You know how they roll in. And a lot of the stuff that you go to your normal, like we have a Kroger around here. They don't even have the bean sprouts or something that you would want to put in your stir fry, so they discriminate. So Kenneth Roger, if you're watching this, mm -hmm. we want bean sprouts in. People are like, what, Kay Rogers? I mean, <laughs> what? Yeah, Kay Rogers. Sorry. Ooh, this is a good, this is a good piece right here. Mm-hmm. They, they don't got a bone, but... Nice and charred. I don't have a bone on it either. Kind of like eating a rib, but like a tiny piece of a rib. That's pretty much what it is. It just... Cut up small so you can do this. Um... And what you dip it in your soup? Yeah, we ain't make no we ain't make no dipping sauces so. Our soup broth is good though. And those lettuce wraps, that was mm, that was clutch. You said lettuce, I was like, oh wait a second. Yeah, I, I didn't know if you bought it or something else. And I didn't know if you would want want to do it. Mm hmm. You ran a red light? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what was that for? 
All this Chef's shit. Chef's kiss. Oh. Is it like when we do that thing with red light? <laughs> no. <laughs> you get rid of red light in your head? When I go through a yellow light, a yellow light, when I go through the yellow light, and it turns red before I'm all the way across, I kiss my hand and touch the ceiling to thank my angels for protecting me as kind of like a, what do they call that? Like a Jew? Jew? I don't know. No, like a, not OCD, but uh, yeah, to create good luck. So it's like a superstition. A superstition. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. It's like a superstition. Like when you knock on wood, when you say something and you don't want to jinx it, so you knock on wood. It's like that. It's easier just to do eat with one chopstick. Do I do anything like that? Mm. <laughs> I do like a sport. I do it in sports. Like if my team is playing and I like start watching it towards like the half of it and then like they're losing. I don't watch it because I feel like this or something. They like, started losing when you started watching. That's how you feel. Yeah, it's like I don't know. It's, right now I'm going blank on that, but it's something like that. Like um, I don't know if it's like. Yeah, if I start watching it and they're losing like halfway through, I just cut it off and try to go to sleep and wake up to see if they won. Like, sometimes it works. But sometimes, I had a superstition about Ohio State football games. Every time I watched the game, they would lose. And if I didn't watch the game, they would win. So I quit watching for like two seasons in a row. And both seasons straight, they were 10-0, and 0, won every game. And I was like, yeah, I can't. I can't mm -hmm. be watching Ohio State football games. Yeah, she, she don't watch them now. <laughs> but represent. Oh, yeah. We do have Ohio State. Yeah. Yeah, we're from Ohio. We live in Columbus. So, yeah, that's our team. But. Yeah. I'm not a good luck charm. I mean, if you don't watch it, you are. <laughs> <laughs> they usually, they win every game. They always lose one game. And and then if they make it to the championship, they lose twice. twice. They won the first, very first uh, playoff. Championship, but ever since, but they they're always either in the playoffs or not. Like yeah. they've been in most of the playoffs. I'm stuffed. Yes, yeah, so everybody gonna wrap this up. But like I said, we gotta go get the kids from the grandmas. Hopefully they eat, cause <laughs> if not, I'm just gonna take one of these out. But yeah, um, this isn't enough to feed them. Well, <laughs> the scraps. They wouldn't want it either way. But, they're pretty picky. Yeah. Uh, but they would eat noodles. So like I got some rainbow noodles, like the generic. I mean, the ones. Oh, well, they here. love noodles. They love ribs. So why not? They ain't with these bones. They would complain. This is too many bones. But yeah. The caramelization on these though. Mm. Yeah, this. I could eat the soup all the time. Yeah, this is probably the best ramen, hands down. I didn't know I could make it this good. She um, <laughs> yeah, she usually don't eat it. That's why I wasn't sure. I, that's why I got the noodles. Like I'm the only one to be eating it. And then I was like, well, I'll get plain. She makes her own broth. Then maybe. That's why I brought two. I brought two just in case. And we have like two compartments so we can make different, like if one's spicy and one not so spicy. So. But yeah, um, subscribe to us if you haven't. Uh, are we, we going to do a channel? Or are we going to change this one to like a family one? We're not sure. But <laughs> subscribe to whoever you're watching this at. Whatever channel you're watching this on. Subscribe. Oh, every channel. We might be multiple channels. Yeah. But, yeah, we're out of here. Cheers. <laughs>